Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to program the stock FCB 1010 to control all of your neural DSP plugins through the CushView Element program. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the CushView Element software and the FCB 1010 manager by Mountain Utilities. You can find links to these programs in the description below. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. Let's begin by first setting up and programming the FCB 1010 to control the Element software. When you open the editor, you'll be presented with this screen. The first thing you want to do is make sure your MIDI device is connected to the editor. Click the Options button, then MIDI Devices. From here, choose your MIDI device. After that click View, then Presets. This is where you'll program the FCB 1010 to send MIDI messages. Now you are ready to start programming the controller. In this bank setup, we'll set up 5 banks. Bank 0 Pedal 1 will be Abasi. Bank 1 Pedal 1 will be Cory Wong. Bank 2 Pedal 1 will be Gajira. Bank 3 Pedal 1 will be Nali. Bank 4 Pedal 1 will be Plenty. In each bank, pedals 2 through 5 will select presets in the plugin. Pedals 6 through 8 will select amps. Pedals 9 and 10 will toggle effect pedals and the expression pedals will send CC messages to control various parameters in the plugins. In the editor, we'll select Bank 0 Pedal 1 and drag to Bank 4 Pedal 10. Next, select Enable. Then Note. Now select Increment. Note, and enter the number 1. You'll see the numbers change in numerical order from 1 to 50. Now select Enable, Expression A. Repeat for Expression B. Now click Fix, Expression A. Controller and enter the number 7. You'll see all of the numbers in the column change to the number 7. Repeat the process for expression B, but enter the number 11 for the controller number. Now, let's enter program change numbers. Double click bank 0 pedal 1. Place a check in the PC1 checkbox and enter the number 1. Now uncheck note. Next double click bank 1, pedal 1. Place a check in the PC1 checkbox and enter the number 11. Uncheck note. Next double click bank 2, pedal 1. Place a check in the PC1 checkbox and enter the number 21. Uncheck Note. Next double click Bank 3, Pedal 1. Place a check in the PC1 checkbox and enter the number 31. Uncheck Note. Finally, double click Bank 4, Pedal 1. Place a check in the PC1 checkbox and enter the number 41. Uncheck Note. We are now done programming the editor. Let's send the data to the FCB 1010. Now that we have set up the FCB 1010 in the editor, we need to send the commands from the editor to the controller. 
In order to transmit the data, we must set up the FCB1010 to receive it. This is done in three easy steps. First turn the unit off, then hold the down button and turn it back on. Continue holding the down button until the green light on direct select is lit and then release. Next, press the down pedal once to select config. Finally, press the number 7 button to activate the receive mode. Now, you can click the green send data to the FCB1010 button on the editor. You will get a pop-up notification instructing you to do the three steps we just did. Simply click the OK button and the data will be sent to the controller. The last thing that needs to be done is to save it to the controller. If you do not do the step, the controller will not work. Simply hold the down button until the countdown finishes and the green light goes out. Now your FCB1010 is ready. Let's move on to setting up the Kush View Element software. When you first open Element, you are presented with this screen. Before you begin setup, you must first go to File, then Preferences, then check your audio and MIDI setup. Once that is completed, we can begin setting up Element to control our plugins. We will start with the section labeled Session. A session is a collection of graphs. The easiest way to understand this is to imagine a session as being an album and each graph is a track on the album. In this case, instead of each graph being recorded music, it is a plugin. To understand this better, let's begin setting up a session. Since we are using five plugins, let's insert five graphs by clicking the button in the session row and adding four more graphs. Now, right-click on the first graph and select View Settings. For the tutorial, we'll enter Abasi's name. And for MIDI program, we'll enter the number 1. Now let's select Graph 2 and enter Corey Wong as name and 11 for MIDI program number. Next, select Graph 3 and enter Gajira as name and 21 for MIDI program number. Now, select Graph 4 and enter Nali as name and 31 for MIDI program number. And finally, we'll select Graph 5 and enter Pliny as name and 41 for MIDI program number. Now that we've set up the session, let's insert the plugins. Before we insert the plugins, let's first get an understanding of the nodes. To demonstrate, let's select the Abasi graph. All audio comes in and out of the software through the top and bottom audio nodes. If your guitar is plugged in and you strum it, you will not hear any sound. You must connect the input node to the output node to transmit sound. You do this by clicking on the green pins and dragging the virtual wires to the output node. Now the sound travels through virtual wires from the top to the bottom. What we'll do is insert a neural DSP plugin in between the two nodes. When you right click in an open space, the plugin menu opens. I'll select the Abasi plugin and it will open. Closing it gives access to the plugin node. From here, I'll attach the input node to the top of the plugin and the output of the plugin to the output node. Now, if you play your guitar, you should hear the plugin affect the sound. Now we must connect the MIDI node to the plugin. In this case, the MIDI node represents the FCB1010. Any messages the controller sends goes into the plugin. The MIDI out node will not be used so we can select it and press delete. 
We're now done setting up the first plugin. We'll repeat the process for the Cory Wong plugin. Right click in an open space. Select the Cory Wong plugin. Attach the input and output nodes. Attach the MIDI in node. And delete MIDI out. The procedure for the next three plugins is the same, so we will speed the video up. Now that we are done setting up the plugins, let's test our work. When you step on bank 0, pedal 1, the graph will switch to a bossy. When you step on bank 1, pedal 1, the graph will switch to Cory Wong. When you step on bank 2, pedal 1, the graph will switch to Gajira. When you step on bank 3, pedal 1, the graph will switch to Nali. And when you step on bank 4, pedal 1, the graph will switch to plenty. Now let's use the FCB 1010 to select presets. Setting up the FCB 1010 to select presets is simple. Still using the Abasi bank, you must first select a preset. Next, right click and select MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 2. You should see a small MIDI icon next to the preset name. Right click and select Disable MIDI Learn. We'll do the same thing for pedal 3. Select a preset. Next, right click and select MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 3. When you see the small MIDI icon next to the preset name, right click and select Disable MIDI Learn. Repeat this process for pedals 4 and 5. Now when you step on a pedal, the presets will change. Let's program pedals 6, 7, and 8 to change amps. Having this functionality will allow you to change amps in the middle of a solo or a song. Select the first amp and right click. Click Enable MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 6. Click Disable MIDI Learn. Select the second amp and right click. Click Enable MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 7. Click Disable MIDI Learn. Finally, select the third amp and right click. Click Enable MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 8. Click Disable MIDI Learn. Now you change amps when you step on pedal 6, 7, and 8. Pedals 9 and 10 can be programmed to toggle effects the same as the other pedals. Right click on an effect and click MIDI Learn. Step on pedal 9. 
Click Disable MIDI Learn. Now, let's set up the plugin to respond to the expression pedals. The expression pedals can be used to control any knob in the plugin. In this example, we'll use an expression pedal to control the distance of a microphone from the speaker. Right click the distance knob and click Enable MIDI Learn. Step on an expression pedal. Click Disable MIDI Learn. Now the microphone will move toward or away from the speaker. I hope you enjoyed learning how to set up and control your neural DSP plugins with the KushView Element software. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.